I think humans are kind of like ants. And the way that modern Western industrialized countries are, are like finding a way to take several anthills and throw them all together into one and then try to build from that even though you've got all these different cultures. I mean, these ants that I'm talking about from different different uh, ant hills, maybe different, different types of ants, you know, and throw them all together in one pile. And in this case, uh, many of them you know, mixing, you know, having offspring, even though you can't really do that with ants, but I'm just saying... I'm to make to try to make a comparison of what humans are, right? If we would have all stayed in the same anthills, we would have probably been able to do a little bit better. But we didn't. And so our purpose is as mixed up as the anthills are. Our purpose has been lost. Now, yes, we can create our own purpose. But it's not as satisfying as really, truly feeling like you have a purpose regardless of your personal interests. Now, it's not a very popular thing to say. I was just watching a Thulean Perspective video. Someone had mentioned, hey, I, my, I kind of look like him in, in my last video. And so I decided to just look at a couple of his more recent uploads just to see what he's saying now. I was watching this one where he was talking about how the United States... He says, a United States and Israel, who knows if this is really true or not, but, you know, it's an interesting perspective. And he's saying that we're at, we're at the cusp of the fall of the civilization, and the United States wants to be the last one standing, so they're trying to get all the resources that they can out of, the, out of different countries, like they're going to try to get the resources from North Korea and Venezuela. And I thought that was that's an interesting perspective on on what what the United States could be doing. Fascinating. I'm not saying it's what how things are, but it's still a fascinating perspective. It's something to have there in in the little wheel spinning in my mind, right? But uh, one of the things in in the description of his uh, video was uh, you know basically saying, oh, you need to be prepared. Uh, for the the end of civilization, you know, get off of the system, da da da. I, I wanted to see more more of of the, his text comments, right? And there's this one that I saw that I had on the screen. He says, "Every people should follow the religion of their blood, so to speak, no matter who they are." And I thought that was, I thought that was really. That's what made me make this video, was that comment. You know, it made me go, well, you know, there's there's a chance that we could be, we could, I mean, I, I kind of think we are, are like ants, and we've gotten so mixed up that we don't know what our purpose is anymore. But if you if you look at, at things from his perspective, yeah, what do the people who are of, are mixed do? So should we... Oh, do the the religion of our blood? So kind of mix up a bunch of religions, you know? It's if things are really that way, where we're like ants being thrown into a bunch of different, you know, ant piles, we're kind of fucked. If things really are that way. See, before I watched this video, I I was writing a script for a video. Some of my videos are scripted, some of them are not. Most of them are not. There are some that are, especially the ones where you don't see my face. Those are definitely scripted. <laughs> but I was writing a, a, a script for a video that this identity politics that we're seeing and all this, the extremes, the way that people are, are getting, you know, that, that things that have made it hard to have comedy and to enjoy things anymore and to have fun anymore. You know, all these kinds of mindsets are pushing identity politics just over the edge. And I think the only thing that's going to stop that from happening is when white identity politics or majority dem identity politics, you know, identity politics from those that are in the majority start to become strong. And once that happens, the ones that are pushing the, the minority identity politics are going to be like, oh, we're, we're doing that too. 
And there has to be this point where they, where people start to realize, oh, going this far into identity politics is a really bad idea. Yeah, it is. It's a really bad idea. It's a really bad idea. A little bit of identity politics is, is okay. It doesn't cause much problem, but, but this, you know, taking it over the top is always going to have terrible ramifications. Yeah, any type of identity politics. I said, a little bit's okay, just don't take it over the top. You know, even a little bit of, hey, notice me for a moment. Nothing wrong with that. But don't take it over the top. Even, you know, what pe things that people would consider, oh, that's very snowflakey. Yeah, you know, a little bit of it, it's all right. It's going to happen. It, oh, it, it happens no matter what, anyway. A little bit of snowflakeness, you know, fine. But don't take it over the top. You know, everything in moderation. The more extreme the minority identity politics becomes, the stronger that the majority identity politics will become. I sure hope we're not at the end of our civilization. I, I hope that's not the case. Because um, I would definitely be unprepared. I don't know of really much of anything that I'd be able to do. <laughs> Things related to technology, newer technology, would be the last thing that people really need. You know, being able to record voiceovers is not going to be very... Uh, uh, nobody's going to want that. Uh, music isn't going to be uh, very important at that point, right? You know, what skills would I have at that point? I don't think I'd have any. I'd, I'd be pretty screwed. Guess I don't know what more to say. So, salamanders on a slippery slope.